First Lutheran Church and First Presbyterian Church invite you to Faith Opens Doors. Good morning. Welcome to another edition of Faith Opens Doors. This morning we're going to talk about a caring ministry in this Sioux Falls community that extends out far beyond our immediate geographical area. This morning we're going to talk about the church that is in this world as salt and light. And with me this morning as my guests are Joe Gross, who is the director of the Banquet Ministry here in Sioux Falls, Sandy Ains, who is the director of the St. Francis House Shelter, and a very familiar face, our good friend, Pastor Chuck Landon, who is the senior pastor of First Baptist Church. Good morning. We're glad you're all here. Welcome. To begin our program, we just saw a very wonderful picture of what the banquet ministry is all about in serving the poor. And now we're going to take another look at another significant ecumenical ministry called the St. Francis House Shelter. Let's take a few moments now and become acquainted with this significant ecumenical ministry. Judy is 24 years old. Not long ago, when the temperature was below freezing, she spent the entire night on a bench. She had no money, she didn't know where to go for shelter, and the only clothes she had were the ones she was wearing. The next day, she learned about this place, St. Francis House. There, she found a warm, friendly place to stay until she could find and afford a small apartment. St. Francis House is the former Little Flower Convent at 1301 East Austin, behind St. Teresa's Catholic Church. It's still owned by the Catholic Diocese, but Bishop Paul Dudley arranged its use to shelter the homeless. Original operating money came from a fund established by First Lutheran Church. Help is provided by the Ecumenical Good Shepherd Board. St. Francis House opened March 15, 1987. Four guests stayed that night. Since then, the average has been about 25. Referrals come from local churches and pastors, hospitals, the Volunteer and Information Center, the police, even the bus depot. Guests can begin checking in at 6 p.m. They must be in by 10. Male guests stay until 7.30 a.m., women and families until 8. The basic rules are simple. No drinking, no drugs, no fighting, take a shower, help keep St. Francis House clean. The coffee pot's always on, guests get soup on evenings the banquet is not serving, and a light breakfast in the morning. Director Sandy Eanes, her assistant Marty Jacobson, and 80 volunteers, including 10 husband-wife teams, share their time with guests from 6 to 10 p.m. and provide security from 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. The volunteers are concerned Christian lay people, and they're the ones who make St. Francis House work. They come from many church denominations. Their first night, they're often apprehensive, but they come anyway. Diane, a longtime volunteer, explained it this way. I was really scared, but I like people, and I wanted to help these people feel good about themselves. Most of them are really nice folks. They've just had some bad breaks. It's giving and getting back more than I gave. It's learning to appreciate people no matter who they are. To every volunteer, it's getting involved and liking it. For some, it's a chance to repay a debt. Herb Bliss, once a guest, now a volunteer, put it this way. Once I was down and out. Now I can do something for someone else. It's as simple as that. Volunteers sharing the good things in their lives with others who are not so fortunate. And how do the guests feel about St. Francis House? One young man said, I'd like to say thanks for the hospitality and love and caring. I appreciate that more than anything else. Over 800 individual guests have been served by St. Francis House in its first year. That's over 7,500 bed nights. To continue this commitment, St. Francis House needs money, needs volunteers, needs clothing, bedding, towels, and washcloths, needs coffee, remember the part is always on, needs just about anything you'd care to give. The only funding comes from individual and church donations. No government funds are involved. The only help is volunteer. The only guests are the homeless, the needy, the down and out. Remember Judy? The 24-year-old who spent a night in below freezing temperatures on a bench? I never thought a place like this would be this nice. It's clean, it's comfortable, and everybody is really nice. 
When I called, I didn't have to explain anything. They just told me to come on down. St. Francis House in Sioux Falls. To welcome the stranger. To shelter the homeless. Acknowledge human dignity. Convert the hostility of the street into the hospitality of a loving home. And provide an atmosphere where guests can reveal the promise they are carrying. We hope you're a little better acquainted now with these two significant ministries.